Nagbabalik tayo dito sa Kababayan today. It is an honor truly to be able to read excerpts of Filipino Town Voices from Los Angeles. And now we begin our second reading from the story, Magno Rubio. The thief, he acts like an exploiter, always squeezing the last drop of my blood. You know what he did to enslave me for a lifetime? If you didn't, come along, Nick. Some men are capable of anything, Magno. Some men could crawl in their bellies on human filth to earn a dollar. I didn't know that, Nick. I thought we were all born honest. We were all born honest, Magno. But along the way, some of us have lost our honesty. I didn't lose my honesty. Keep it, Magno. Honesty is the best policy. That's what I've heard, still. You've heard right, Magno. I will, Nick, but I'm free now because I've you. Will you write for me from now on, Nick? Sure, Magno. What would you like to have? Don't start anything, Magno. I'll do it because I like to help you. Maybe I'll need your help someday. That's what I like about you, Nick. You use your college education in the right direction. By the way, Magno, how do you know your girl in Arkansas is tall and big on the beam? She wrote to me about the matter. You mean Clara told you that's what she wrote? Exactly. Did she send you a picture of herself? This is it, Nick. I looked at the snapshot. It was faded due to too much handling. It was impossible to determine the girl's age and shape and height. How tall is she, according to Claro? Five foot, 11 inches. He's, but I don't mind. I really don't. I like tall girls. Everybody does, Magno, who is short like you, I almost added. Instead, I asked him, how heavy is she, according to Claro? 195 pounds on bare feet. But I don't care about that either. I like heavy girls. I really do. Everybody does, Magno. <laughs> Who is a featherweight like you, I almost added. Instead, I told him, it doesn't really matter how tall she is and how much she weighs if you love her. I do, Nick. I love her. Carlos Bulosan, the author of the short story, The Romance of Magna Rubio, once said, I can love America even if it doesn't love me. How powerful is that? Oh, my hair is standing <laughs> on its end. Imagine, I can love America even if it doesn't love me. Oh! <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Greg, you were talking um, on break about how this story has many levels that Filipino Americans should really delve into. Kindly expound for our viewers. I, I've read this a number of times, but I didn't really realize until this morning that thing about enslaving. Um, and you can look at it, the level of um, being enslaved by, let's say, the Spanish for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. You can look at, and them exploiting. You can look at uh, possibly uh, rich and educated Filipinos in the islands exploiting uh, the poor. You can look at it in terms of uh, the grape growers uh, in the valley uh, exploiting the farm workers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can look at it uh, in terms of where we are right now and uh, uh, who is exploiting us. Now is the time. Now is our time. Yes, now is our time to really question what's going on in our community and demand answers. Yeah. Thank you so much for this uh, special opportunity for this reading. Uh, thank you, Jason. Uh, oh, thank you. You, <laughs> you, may, you make a great Nick. <laughs> and of course, our Magna for today. Um, uh, this has been a series that we've been doing here on Kababayan today, uh, doing excerpts of uh, Filipino Town, this book, just because when I read this, I could not put it down mm -hmm. because these are experiences that I never um, had come across and to be able to collect it into one cohesive document uh, to really understand our Kababayans that, that have come from Los Angeles is a very powerful thing. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, if you haven't grabbed a copy, where can people grab a copy? Amazon.com, uh, probably best. 
Okay, and uh, I suggest that you get together with your friends, no matter if they're Filipino or not, sit and read this all together because uh, I believe that the word on written paper is so much better when it's, when it's read out loud, just like we did here. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you, you thank again. You, thank you, thank thank you, you Jason. Thank you. thank you, Greg. I know this is not going to be the last time you guys are here. You're always welcome. <laughs> thank thank you. you so much. All right. At pagbalik naman natin, uh, on the 18th of July this weekend, Echo Park Library has an event that you all need to know about. So we'll be right back with that information.